Everyone is in. It looks like we'll be good to go. So as soon as we're done loading. We'll have a match. So again, going back to the draft. Falstad is pretty much... I don't know, one of the best assassins in the game at the moment, just because he has that uh, great map awareness. Well, as long as the uh, player playing him's got a good map awareness, you know, he's got that mobility that he can just be anywhere on the map in a second's notice. Just waiting for people to ready up. Zagara, good push, of really strong with a more, or even the split push coming out with the Nidus Worms, if that's what she wants to be doing. ETC, great at holding heroes like a Sonya Moradin uh, Grey Man combo that, okay, the Grey Man is ranged for half his time, but for the other half he is in a wolf form, so a good ETC mosh pit can catch up at least three heroes in close proximity of each other. And Tychus, being able to drop the laser, um, Malfiora with the root, going to be able to set up with the ETC. As long as he gets a good route off, yeah, and attack us with the laser. You don't really see attackers go Odin's a lot anymore. Though maybe we'll get a surprise. It's good AoE damage with the missiles, with the splash. So, could be an AoE take us here. Actually, looking at it, Water Dragons, they have the Mount Fury on route, they have the Zagara more, if that's the way they want to go. They've got the Falstag Gust. So they've got three decent ways of positioning the enemy heroes on Faust uh, into a good mosh pit but then again they do have the Li Ming so depending on what hero skill she takes I I'm assuming it's not going to be disintegrate so she is going to be able to disposition the ETC once he does start that mosh as long as she's not caught in it herself Unfortunately, no chat. It is not going to be a Nova game today. That's a secret strat being saved by any number of teams. Ah, oh, my hockey's remiss again. Alright, I'm giving you ten seconds. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Four, three, two, four. Okay, so on the left side we are gonna have water dragons. On the right side We're gonna have Faust. Mid lane, looks like it's just gonna be the green main for now. And it looks like is that actually taking the draw? Let's take a look, see. We have so minor engagement. It looks like actually Faust is looking for Zagara to go bottom, and then after going to find the engage. It looks like all water guys are going to go to top of right wing. He's going to pull himself to the top now as well. But it's a lot of damage being done onto the top tower of Faust on this right hand side, and he's going to take a fall. So the talent's coming out. We do have power hungry. Shrug it off. We'll go down in a minute because we might actually get an engagement here. It actually looks like Water Dragon is just going to sack off the bottom lane and just put pressure on the top mid lane. Zagaris in position to secure these treasures. As Muradin starts to move over to take over the, the bottom uh, treasure.
Russian might actually work for it. Yeah, they've got to keep things right, and it actually forces right wing to port to the bottom lane. Who's going to be there? And it's eight treasures on ETC. But is he going to be taking a lot of harassment for his trouble? He's caught out a bit. He's a power slide himself away. He's going to be able to get away. Graeming will pound down forward. Who's going to be there onto Helios? No, that. Get him pretty low. So it's the guy who's going to attack. Is going to be there? Gets polymorphed up, but able to survive. Keeps the Gara as well as ETC alive. So just a quick run, run through. Shrug it off, picks up for Tychus, run and gun, grants three resistance for three seconds. Reducing the damage you take by 25%, as there is another uh, engage breaking out. Because it's not that Moradin's getting pretty low. The port is going to fall from the right wing, but is it going to be enough? No, it looks like Moradin is going to fall. And that's going to be our first blood. And if ETC can move down, he's going to be able to pick up eight coins on the hand. Yeah, well, false start. Just moving himself back, the chain not going to latch from Sonya. Leaming on the bottom lane, second time's coming up now for both teams. And there's the hand taken down, just this side camp here. For enough for, for two more coins, just putting the pressure on with the uh, one burn coming in. And Water Dragon's here. Oh, actually, top lane. Really caught out. That's the death of Falstad. Two Stills is kind of praising Water Dragons for having good positioning and kind of forcing Faust to relocate and uh, react to everything they're doing. Faust say, we're not, we've had enough of your game. We're going to pick up Falstad. Meanwhile, the Ming might be in the way this point but it's not going to be enough caught in the route, and she's going to be taken down. Meanwhile, Heliops doing a bit of pushing top. But Water Dragons again saying, well, if you're not going to come and fight us, we're just going to take your bottom leg, force it in, and they don't even need to stop here, they do have that bruiser camp. So they can carry and force it in if they want to put a bit more pressure on. And take down the fountain. Looks like the tower's going to fall, but the fort's going to be... I don't know, how fast can we get in time? Lee Ming's up in the orbs. Muradin is going to jump in there as well, but ETC just being able to take it away. The root's going to catch Muradin as well as the Lee Ming, so. But, again, just stay alive for now, 4000 health. So down to about a third of itself. Meanwhile, the top lane, though, they do have this through the jump of their own Faust, so. Falstad is just there, he's got his hammer. And he can just keep doing this sort of group damage. Right wing, gonna be caught out, is it gonna be enough? No! Just able to get out with the heals coming out there as well from passing the bet, taking a lot of damage from the orbs as well as the Morian strike. Still's gonna come out, hits on three T's, see. But it puts Water Dragons in a good position to take this bottom treasure. Root gonna be there just because of one root. <laughs> Sorry for uh, Faust to get through, but there's still three. Treasures that Tychus is instantly going to be able to pick up and he just forces Greyman back as well. He does have six gold coins of his own, so he needs to be careful. Power slide in. Not level 10 yet, so there is no much pit, but he just set up. But it's going to be there. Looks like Muradin's going to get really low. He tries to get it and sleep away, but it's not going to be enough and he's going to be taken down. So Faust needs to be careful now. They are 4v5. And it looks like this is just going to be his hand in on the side of Water Dragons. Two hand ins in a row. Actually, interesting to enough, this was a Faust map pickup. So, Water Dragon's putting on the pressure still. Claiming up the camps as the bomb bomb because they know. Faust needs to be very reactionary, need to play their own game. Sonya, bottom lane. With these siege creeps, just trying to come up against the garage. She does get the latch in, but she's caught out four heroes who are taking down onto Akimoto here. In a bit of trouble. Root's gonna be there, so is the mosh pit used just to secure up that Sonya. And the laser dropped as well. 
So that was a lot for Sonya, but it does give them the next 15 or so seconds of a 4v5. Blink away by such a Kev Kev. Poimov coming out onto the Upta. Tigers though, not being deterred. Really want to go for it. The Blink comes out there again as well. Falstad getting really low in this top lane, but they're still, still able to defend all top lanes, meanwhile. All three forts gone down, all three first forts. Moshpit isn't up for the next 76 seconds, so now the level 10's are up, it might be actually Faust that tries to force something. Oh, it's it is. Avatar picked up there by the murder. Blink heal, picked up. BTC needs to be careful, the is going to come out of the chain, it's going to be the best. It's not enough, he's going to be able to power slide himself away. Go for the throw, taken up by Kramer. Leap taken up by Sonya, as well as Wave of Force, just to disrupt that mosh pit. Picked up the, by the Lee Ming. Meanwhile, on the side of the water drone, we have the Dragon Laser Drill, picked up by the Tychus. Twilight Dream, picked up by the Mafiora. And the first hand then coming in on the side of Faust. Mosh pit, as we saw, being picked up by DTC. Mighty Gus picked up by Falstad. And Devouring Maul picked up by the Zagara. So it is going to be one of a set of laser drops on the side. The route's going to be there as well. Moradin taking a lot of damage. He's going to be able to leap himself away. But still down to about a fifth of his health. Meanwhile, Brightwing might not be so lucky just to chase him down. So he dash forwards as well, but how it jumps in. Just does enough damage to, yeah, to deter Jupiter. Meanwhile, top lane, Falstar getting pretty low, but he's going to be able to pick off the Sonya. So just able to juke himself around in the fog sights around the barrels and just get Sonya really low with the hammer. The Water Dragon is looking to capitalize now on advantage with another turn in. All we need, well, you know they actually have enough. If ETC wants to try and force the turn in now, but it looks like they're going to take a lot of map crack here. Force down. They've already got this bruise camp, and they're going to take the siege camp as well on the side of Faust. Sonya is there, but she's the only one defending. Tigers Brightwing to be able to force himself down. Yeah, and Sonya Brightwing just going to back themselves up. Grenade comes out from Tigers. Here we go into Boston back. ETC. Mosh pit is up, lasers up in the next 20 seconds as well. So, no reason for Water Dragons to slow down. They do have the two counts still going. Huh? This keeps Super Kev Kev though. Actually backing up instead of trying to come for maybe the Pinter Manoeuvre. Poimop is going to go out into ETC. He's cut for a bad forward. Can he do those well with it? in, more in, and death ETC. More is going to be there, but it's not going to be enough at the time. Leaf in the front as well, Leaf still coming through. Ups and down, I can only tell he's on about half his health out with the spin as well. Can stop the lag? So a good defense, they do lose the wall, as well as the two towers on the side of Faust, but they keep the fort, as well as taking down the PC. Just, to, just put a lot of pressure on with his auto attacks, being able to take that pressure. Goss the three is a guy, right? she's going to be able to cause out there, but we coming forward from the green lane, but they've still got the wall up, so that barrier is going to be the What's the is trying to look to turn this now? We're really getting pretty low. Is there going to be a root? What is the cooldown on that? Root is going to be off cooldown. In the next 0.3 seconds, ETC's back up. He does have his mosh pit if you want to carry on chasing down. Meanwhile, Falstad up off his own thing, top of the map. He's picking up these coins. Sonya looking for the wraparound, but it's not going to be there. As long as ETC, as well as the North Huron, can keep Faust away, this is going to be another turn. And you can already see how low this bottom keep is. Fortunately, they still have a wall up. So there's not a massive level difference, 
Sometimes we get a bit of luck. Okay, we're back. I have no idea what happened there. Actually, it looks like Faust while I was going to manage to take the boss. The Baron's tomorrow is going to come up and someone's going to catch on one. The drill is going to be there. Meanwhile, Avatar comes up from Moradin. Focus is down on Malfurion so far. Maybe he's going to be able to use his ultimate for now. The drill still focusing down. Super Cap Cap needs to be careful. But he's going to be taken down by Tychus. Brightwing roaming alongside the Zagara, but everyone on the side of Faust is so low. The most still going to be taken down. The Tyke is still chasing the bright wing, but the, the Muradin's going to be there just to do, do a bit of blocking. Bright wing is going to be caught out there. It's going to be forced back here yeah, by the power slide, by the face melt of the ETC as well as the Tyke. And this could actually be a full team wipe. The boss is going on the top keep of bossing down that top wall, but. Meanwhile, the siege creeps. Let me take down this tower. He's screaming, didn't it? No. Tower is going to be taken down, and the boss does breach the top wall for the side of Faust, but it's, it's another turn. And again, luckily enough, they still do have this wall on the top lane to take a bit of that bombardment damage. So fast gun of course, the creep camp of the room. It's gonna be bruises against sieges. I think the, the bruises are actually gonna be able to push this through while the bombardment goes through. Getting that keep so low. One auto attack is gonna be enough to take that down. It looks like they're gonna try and go for another hand, and if this goes for a hand in, they lose both the keeps on the side of Faust, and it actually puts a lot of lane pressure on there as well. Right wing's gonna jump up to the grey main, but this hand in looks like it's gonna go. With the gust coming out from Tehran. A Thyron. Let's knock these boys down a peg or two. All it takes is the one cannonball and the rest is gonna be focused on the core. And again, once the bombardment goes, Water Dragons just look to put on a bit more pressure, taking the camps on their own side of the map. Looking for more coins and a bit more turning. And Faust really need to respond to this. They need to back up. In fact, I think this actually might just be game from the bombardment. Yeah. So, what's the dragons are going to take the first game? And again, interestingly enough, if I'm remembering correctly, this was actually a Faust sided map. Oh, that was the first pick up. The next one is going to be Battlefields of Eternity. Was actually picked up there by Water Dragons. And hopefully we'll be able to get pretty much straight into the draft. But for now, I'm just going to throw some more music on. As we wait for both teams to uh, decide on the draft, on the draft time, and send me the link through.
Okay, we actually have no time for music as we're straight into the draft. It's going to be what's the dragons against Faust? Ignore the top right. That was just set up wrong by um, our draft maker. So it is going to be Battlefields of Eternity. As Faust still looking for the first bar. It's going to be Sylvanas. Sylvanas is a good ban here. Obviously, she was able to push with the immortals as they come up. And it's not something you really want to be going up against because you can just disable towers and put a lot of harass damage on. Once you get to level 10, you can put that with an arrow through. Not something you want to play up against on this map. And easily enough, Faust to say, well, we don't want to play up against that, so we're just going to ban it. What's the dragons banning out Zagara? Again, great push, great um, momentum. Able to put a lot of pressure on the map. Especially if you go for the Knight as well. And you can just put, you can split push all day long. If I was taking the time on this first pickup. It's gonna be the Kerrigan. Nope, Leeming. Am I getting my uh No, it's okay with the Kerrigan picked up for Water Dragons, Leeming picked up for Faust. As I try to get used to these storm draft icons. Greymane being picked up there for Water Dragons as well. So, two melee assassins, no mages yet so far on the side of Water Dragons. Maybe wanting to take the fights in the side of actual immortals, maybe looking for a defense there. Trying to turn the fight and then go put the, put the pressure on the enemy immortal. A Nubarak picked up for Faust, which is. Bit of a funny one, yeah, okay, he does have his dive, he has his impale, but spell shield's not really going to be any use up against a Kerrigan as well as a Greymane, so. But maybe Faust have a pocket strat there as well that an Uberak becomes relevant to. Brightwing again picks up, so offering a bit of, a bit of global there on the side of Faust. Able to react to any ganks and offer support. What's the drug is actually going to ban that with the Sonya? Interesting, maybe thinking that Faust again we're gonna go for the double warrior. Um actually yeah with the leap as well as the crater great if you can find the Kerriganitis um Kerrigan Grey main and kind of just group them in, especially with the leaming that's able to drop a missiles, drop a orbs on top of that, so Water Dragons preempting uh some of the lockdown coming out on the side of Faust. Artanis? Ban. Sorry, not Artanis, it's... Huh. Is it Abatha? I don't know if Water Dragons actually play the Abatha. Um, but it's something that Faust really don't want to be playing up against. With a... Probably an Abathur, Kerrigan, Hat, Rhaegar being picked up from the Water Dragons as the healer.
ETC once again picked up. Faust do have the Leeming, so she does have the displacement, but it's something that Water Dragons don't really seem to be bothered about. It'd be interesting to see the lineup that Faust go for as well, especially with the melee line lineup coming out from Water Dragons. They could potentially go for something like a Jaina. Um, with that Ring of Frost lockdown. Going to pick up the Tacita. The wall, yeah, okay, that's a good pickup. It means you're going to be able to separate two of the hero, two or three heroes from each other in Water Dragons so far. And with um, Water Dragons being mostly melee heroes, or all melee heroes, they're not really going to have anything to respond with if they do get separated on that wall. It's not like you've got a Lee Mink that can throw out her abilities over the wall. Or a Tracer that's going to be able to dash around the wall. A Sergeant Hammer that could fire over the wall. And it's a Butcher there as well for Faust. Water Dragons with all frontline heroes, are they going to actually pick something up with a back line or are they just going to go for, I mean they could go double tank, um, double warrior if that's something that they're interested in going. Maybe look for a, a Lunara or a Nova, jokes like Nova's ever going to get played. And they pick up the Tychus again. So potentially, I mean, Tychus still has to get in pretty close to use his abilities apart from the Fragonade, which is going to be able to displace some of the heroes on the side of Faust. But as far as it goes, he does want to keep close to whoever is attacking to keep the damage up, keeps the, the sustain up there. Just went on the game to start, guys. Uh, everyone is in the lobby and ready to go.
And we're in. So, on the left side, we're going to have Water Dragons. Right side, once again, we're going to have Faust. Both teams gathering. For now, as we just wait for Tigers to catch up. And Kerrigan is actually going to go for the, the mid map wall push. We have seen some people do this. So if you follow Jufta, making his move across the middle of the map. Actually followed closely by the rest of his team as well. They're going to look for a wraparound pickup here. They're just going to try and force this wall down. They could actually bait in with the Kerrigan. They're not going to find anyone so far, but Jufta is the... And the shadow's toxic. There's going to be a leap onto toxic. Is he going to be able to get himself away? He's going to dive himself away, leaming, dropping the over the missiles onto the ETC. But he's going to be able to heal himself up. Yusuke throwing the grenade down. Meanwhile, Tassadar's just on this bottom lane on his own. Tychus is going to rotate down now. But for now, a lot of the aggression is coming up on this top lane. The die followed by Kerrigan Toxic, the Dragovac as well as the Storm's going to be there. It's actually going to be Brightwing that's going to be the first blood. And Numerak is going to be able to get out. He is very, very low. Stun is going to come out though. Get himself out with just under 100 health. Thanks to his dive impale on four heroes. Meanwhile, if we take a look at this bottom lane, it's actually Tassada that's taking him, getting taken advantage of just because of the damage coming out. Keeping himself alive for now though, it's going to be another dive. It's going to be the bright wing going down once again, so the heal of the attack is out here and the butcher is going to be able to go down. And Nubarak. Is he? Just moving himself behind. I'm going to back himself up. Is he going to be caught out of the grey main? Is moving down. Is he going to be there in time? Nope. Just got himself out in enough time. The stone coming out onto Yusuke there from the Immortal. With Water Dragons already putting the pressure on. This is the Water Dragons map. And our Faust going to be able to turn it like Water Dragons turned the last map. So far it doesn't look like it. The Immortal on the side of Faust getting really low. Just under half health. Toxic looking for the stun, gonna find it on Rhaegar, but the aggression going on inside of Faust and Mortal. The Faust are gonna rotate through though, this is a power slide through though, onto it. Looks like the butch is getting pretty low, the shield's gonna be there from Tassada. Toxic got a four man impale as well. Rhaegar is gonna go down, and this sets up the kill chain there for the side of Faust. That's three heroes, it could be four looking to get down. Tychus is gonna be taken down as well, only to ETC gonna be able to get himself alive. So on about a tenth of his health, Faust Immortal is kept alive and the Butch is just going to keep up the defence while the rest of Faust puts some pressure onto Water Dragon's Immortal. ETC rotating back in, the Tassadar is going to be there, the reveal coming out from Tassadar as well. ETC getting pretty low shields from the Tassadar, going to help the Butcher just do a lot of sustained damage there on ETC, ETC being chased down, but it looks like Faust Immortal is going to go down. It's about a quarter of his health as a shield there for the Water Dragon Immortal. And how fast going to look for a defense? They actually leap onto the Brightwing already. The Impale comes out from Unubarak, but always a bit of a time waste. Nebek getting forward, going to be pulling him off the up. He needs to be careful, maybe look for himself back uh, to hold himself back because there is enough frontliners there on the side of Water Dragons. Tychus again up on the top lane with the Tyrael, uh, the Tassadar, sorry, getting my heroes confused. Burrow onto the ETC. 
Impale's going to be there as well. Just going to be off the mark on the regular, but he's going to hit onto the Grey Men. Palmoff coming out onto the regular, getting himself pretty low there with the orb coming out from the Lee Ming. Toxic caught out in a bit of a bad position. He's going to be able to get himself away with the dive. No! ETC with the power slide as well as the face melt is going to do enough damage to take down the Anubarak. Akimoto's not going to be able to get himself either, not even going to be able to take down one hero. Meanwhile, the top lane. Tigers just keeps up the pressure. Going 1v1 with Tassadar on every lane and looking to be winning though as well. Still has his fountain up if he wants to use it. Meanwhile, I'm pretty sure the Tassadar does have it down for the next 104 seconds again. Bottom lane. Kerrigan going to rotate top as you're going to try and look through to look for a sneak pick off. Actually going for the camp, the Tassadar has no idea about this because his minions still haven't pushed in Kerrigan. Helios just looking around now and it is going to be a camp on the side of Water Dragons. Fausto looking for a camp of their own. Immortals come back up, so everyone on both sides, apart from the, the attackers, that is actually on about half health. The regular heals is going to be out there. The shields coming out from Tassadar, pre shield coming out, Polymorph onto the ETC. Level 8 for both teams. The Leeming, Brightwing, Tassadar just looking for a bit of a defend. Actually, both teams looking for a bit of a defend, but it actually, the Faust. Immortal is on about half health, just under half health, so I'm first going to try and look to put on the pressure. Thyron's in on about two thirds of his health. Polymorph coming out onto the ETC, they do have level 9, so they have a bit of a level's advantage of the dive as well as this melt face. And it's actually the Li Ming that gets caught out there. And is this it? Uh, Faust is going to give up the Immortal. It's a near enough a full shield. Immortal on the side of Water Dragons. Again, Tychus moving himself to the other lane. Going to be able to put pressure on. Butcher looking for the defend. Tassadar moving up to help put pressure on against this Immortal that's now flying up to the top lane. So Faust not really wanting to give up a lane to the side of Water Dragons, even though they could look for the five-man defense. Level 10's coming out now. Mosh Pit picked up the dive forward. Is it going to be a... Yep, great Mosh Pit coming out there. Just keeping three heroes controlled for the time it needed to take down the Anubarak. Brightwing getting pretty low there as well. Kerrigan able to pick that up. Gonna be able to uh, taken down by the tower herself though. But it's still a two for uh, two for two as the Grey Man gets taken down. ETC just trying to get himself out. Orb gonna go forward. Missile's gonna be off the mark. The blink forward comes out from Super Kev Kev. The power slide gonna be there though. Only one tower going down. Gate nearly broken. Sits on a fifth of its health. As the Tychus just continues to soak. So the displacement coming out there. On the side of the Lee Mink. Force wall being there from the Tassada. Lamb to the Slaughter. Going to be able to keep heroes around. Blink heal. Being picked up by... The bright wing as well as the cocoon picked up by the Numerac, so a lot of placement as well as control coming out on the immortal uh, ultimates on the side of Faust. Mosh pit down for the next 30, 39 seconds and ETC. Is he putting himself a bit too far forward? He does have a Tychus as well as a Greyman backing him up the rest of 
Well, this dragon's going to rotate themselves down now, looking to put a bit of pressure with this camp on the top lane. Kerrigan's going to dive himself forwards, gets polymorphed up. And those missiles from the Li Ming. A lot of damage, and you can see Faust has split up now. Obviously, they don't want this camp, so a water dragon's going to try and force something. Mosh Pit is up in the next second. Just as the Immortals come up. So both teams looking to take a camp just before the Immortals come up. Put pressure for the enemy team. Water Dragons picking up the level 13 hero talents. And it just looks like it's a race for the Immortals. With Faust actually leading it for now. Five heroes grouped up on the side of Water Dragons. Tassadar is going to be able to use his reveal. It's going to be a dive forward. The Impale only hitting on the Rhaegar. That orb though. Taking ne Nemo hosting him down to about three quarters. Kerrigan's going to dive himself in. Maybe looking for the reaction so ETC can get his, his power slide in as well as his mosh pit. And the defense coming out from both teams. Oh, ETC hiding in the fog. Impale's going to be there though. Grey main point muffed up as Faust just back themselves to their immortal. They've done a bit of chip damage to the enemy immortal and they just back themselves up while everyone's on near enough full health. Kerrigan again. Getting polymorphs. Actually, the stun from the immortal it was just off the map. Kerrigan dove herself forward. Mosh pit going to be cancelled though. It wasn't really on anyone anyway. But it doesn't stop Was the Dragons from being able to take out one. Greyman's got pretty low. Li Ming, is she going to go down there as well? Impale the dive forward from the Kerrigan. Drag back as well. XNG Toxic needs to be careful. Tassada and Li Ming traded for a Greyman. Greyman going to be up in the next 16 seconds. And an immortal too. So, just under half health. As a shield for this immortal. And once again, Water Dragons are able to put on the pressure. It looks like it's going to be a full five man push as well with Juff to come in round, round for the backstab. And Hoover just backing himself up at the same time though. XNG Talk is going to get the dive through. The Super Drill is going to be there. It looks like he's going to take down the Tassadar. The Tassadar getting really low. The wall's going to keep himself alive. He keeps himself in roll up. And now the shields as well. Greyman is he going to be able to get it off? No. But the Anubarak is taken down. And the Butcher needs to back himself up and come and help defend on this bottom lane. Tassadar getting stunned up there as well. He's only on about half health with that shield. Leeming getting pretty low there as well. The dive forward from the Kerrigan. The Kerrigan is going to be able to clean that kill up. And this just looks like it's going to be keep going the way of Water Dragons. Water Dragons again looking for the map pressure. Going to take up this bottom camp. While the fort's slow, while that lane uh, keeps gone and the lane is pushed in. Faust kind of gauging the reaction from Wars Dragons and preempting them to the top camp as well. But Li Ming is on this bottom lane. So, if Faust get caught in the pincer kind of here with attackers coming in, Mosh Pit up in 36 seconds. It looks like the chase is going to be the wall. It's not really going to be able to do anything. It looks like the Butcher is going to get pretty low. The ultimate comes out from the Kerrigan. The Impel is going to be there as well. Cocoon. Going to be there, keeping the ETC busy for now, but Tassadar is going to be able to get himself out. Kerrigan only needs to try, really try and jump on Helios, so only has 
750 with the shield for now. But still needs to get himself around. A new Brack, is he going to be caught out just before the Immortals come up? This would be dangerous. Going to be able to dive himself away for now. Mounts up, but the Kerrigan Leap's going to be there as well to pull back. And 40 seconds without new Anubarak, just as the Immortals come up. Don't know how far I was trying to defend this. Capitalizing on their advantage, what the Dragons take. The opposing camp, and then just look to put pressure on their Immortal. 17 seconds before Anubarak comes up. Mosh Pit is there, the rest of Water Dragon's ultimates are on cooldown. But it doesn't matter, within 10 seconds they've already taken the enemy immortal really low, looking to take up another camp before they finish it off. And just look how fast this camp goes down. And Doombrack is back up though, so they need to cross enemy lines to look to finish off the Immortal. Tassadar uses his reveal. Need to be careful on the group up because the Mosh Pit is there as well as everyone's ultimate on the side of Water Dragons. This is going to be a great Mosh Pit if he gets it off. It looks like he tried to, but he was just stopped before in the cast time. Brightwing getting pretty low, 373 health. Dive forward, the power slide's going to be the butcher. It looks like he's going to be able to go. Well, go down, pretty much. And Water Dragons just re rotate now. Look to finish off the Immortal. And that's going to be a full health of Immortal on their side. So both teams have full five man lineups. The Immortal is pushing in though, this bottom lane is going to carry on pushing in there as well. So the longer it takes Faust to take this Immortal down, the more pressure the bottom lane is going to put on. And the mosh pit just as we ca crash, catching out all five. And this is going to be a team wipe, this is possibly going to be game. Butcher isn't going to be able to defend up against a full five man team and the GG's called. Bye. As the wreck comes out from leaning. Yeah, somehow, I don't think uh, Butcher was ever going to be able to defend up against a full five man line as well as an immortal there. As the immortal flies off and says, My job's done. Water Dragons take the series 2 0. Hopefully you've enjoyed the cast guys. I am going to be jumping off. I've got totally two commitments I need to get to. Um, unfortunately I'm not going to be able to do a winner's interview. But hopefully you've enjoyed the games. Um, and I'll see you next time I'm up for casting. Which is potentially going to be after the Insomnia series. Which takes place next week. One of the UK's biggest lands. And anyone going just give me a shout out. On Twitter at Robin Roll Gaming, uh, where I'll be casting the the Dota Two LAN actually. So, if anyone is actually going to uh, Insomnia, I will see you there. And again, Water Dragons taking the series two to zero. <laughs>